Hi there, this is Andy from GNA Numerical. Uh, this is a very short demonstration video on a question that's been causing lots of pupils a headache for the QTS numeracy skills test. It's the raw data question. Um, so a student of mine just uh, today was telling me about um, being asked one of these questions and I finally got down all the details from her. Um, so look what we've got here. We've got um, pupils undertook three diagnostic tests the sum of their individual test scores form a raw score, which can be used together with the pupils' ages to obtain a standardized score for each pupil. So the question being asked is, what was the standardized score obtained by Jess? Now it looks a bit difficult because you've got two separate tables and quite a lot of numbers around, um, but let's start with the question itself. So the question mentions a pupil called Jess. So we find her in, in this table here, so here she is. She is seven years and one month uh, of age, and we've got those individual um, test scores um, down here. Um, so going back to the, the top here, it says uh, the sum of those scores form a raw score. So the first thing we're going to think about doing is calculating the sum. So that just means adding those three together. So we've got seven and seven and five, uh, which is 19. So if I write that one down, so we've got our raw score of 19 we go over to the, the left table and find that 19 so it's over here let me even highlight it I'm going to highlight the whole row um, and that pupil Jess was 7 years and 1 month of age so I'm going to find that on the table as well and highlight that so all we're looking for is the intersection of those of the of the column and the row so Jess's standardized score is going to be 87. Um, and it's as simple as that. Sometimes it is as simple as that. Um, other questions that students have been asked uh, are a bit harder. So they might ask you, for example, what was the range of standardized test scores? So that's a question that will take a bit more effort because we have to consider not just one pupil, but all of the different pupils. Uh, first, work out what their standardized scores are, and then we then we can think about calculating a range. Um, so uh, why don't we do that while we're, while we're here? Um, so we'll start with Ade. Um, Ade is seven years and no months, um, but why don't I calculate first um, what the sum of the, the each test score is? So what have we got? We've got six and four and seven, so we've got 17. And for Claire, what was it? It was 16. For Peter, it was 17. Tina it's 18, uh, Jess we already did it was 19 and Priya is also a 19. So that's pretty much the hard work done. Um, now I'll take the pupils uh, in turn starting with Ade. So he was a score of 17 with 7 years and no months. So 17 with 7 years and no months. So his score was 79. Uh, taking Claire she was a 16 with a 6 years and 9 months. So 16 six years and nine months she's an 85 peter was a 17 with a seven year and one month so 17 seven years and one month he's a 76 tina was an 18 for the total score uh, with a six years and 11 months so 18 with six years and 11 months is an 85 uh, Jess, we already saw earlier, was an 87, so I'll just write that down. Uh, finally, Priya was a 19 total score with a 6 years and 10 months, so that was a 95. So now we've got everything we needed. Um, so the formula for range is maximum, take away minimum. So the maximum score out of those in the list was Priya at 95. And what was the minimum? Looking down the list, we've got Peter at 76. Um, so the difference between those is 19. So your answer, for, if they were asking about the range, would just be 19. So a little bit more work there. Um, they could also ask you, because we've got a, a list of numbers, they could ask you about the median uh, or the mode or, or even the mean, but um, we'll save that video for another day. Um, so that's all for now. Um, Hopefully you do get asked a question like this because hopefully you've seen from this demonstration that it's actually quite simple once, once you've seen it uh, demonstrated. Um, so good luck and see you next time.